Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome back to another Hello Monday video. During the Christmas holiday, I got intrigued by some watercolor works that I had seen on Pinterest and I thought it would be fun to create a card using this watercolor effect and make a full Polaroid print um, frame for it. So to start with, I'm working with the Mr. Huey's Color Mists and these are by Studio Calico and they come in the most gorgeous colors and normally I guess you would think of spraying them but I'm actually going to use them to do some watercolor effects and you could use other products but I just had these handy and so I grabbed them. And what I did was I shook the bottles and I don't shake them up and down, I shake them from side to side. And then I'm going to take my dropper tools and get some droplets of color directly from the bottle. And some colors are more intense than others when it comes to the Mr. Huey's mist. So you kind of play it by ear as to how intense you want your colors to be. Now this cameo color is pretty soft and I knew that it would watercolor pretty softly just because I've sprayed it onto paper and seen what the results that I get with that. So I'm just kind of gauging that by the intensity of the color in the bottle and adding droplets um, according to that. And I will actually dilute some of them and some of them I'll leave more intense. So once I've got the color palette, I want to play with onto my little plastic paint tray there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. And I use this Ranger um, Essentials Mister that I always keep it filled with water. So then I can take a clean dropper tool and just add droplets of water. And it's easier, I mean, ask me how I know. It's always better to add a little bit and then come back and add more. <laughs> Because <laughs> once you get too heavy handed with the water, if you've put too much, you're kind of like, oh man, you got to start all over again. Or, you know, you've got to add a lot more Mr. Huey to get what you want. And you don't want to wa be wasteful. So, I mean, at least I don't like to be wasteful. So I start with a little and then I add more as I think I need it. And my dropper tools weren't staying. They weren't behaving in that little dish there. <laughs> I was trying to be all neat and tidy and they weren't, they weren't doing that for me. <laughs> So now I'm just going to mix the colors up with the water by using the end of my water brush and I'm just dabbing it dry and clean against my paper towel before I dip into the next color so that I don't cross contaminate the different colors and end up with mud because that would not be pretty. <laughs> So now I've got this pretty die cut from the smooth Bristol paper. This is my favorite paper to watercolor on and I just die cut all these different shapes using my various dies from the smooth Bristol paper and then I'm just going to start watercoloring and I'm very sloppy. When I watercolor I just dab the color here and there and I slop it around. This is the Julie Ebersole method of watercolor. <laughs> Because I want it to look very painterly. I don't like my watercolors to be careful. I like them to be sloppy. So I just kind of splash and, and smear and daub and plop it on there and add more intensity here and there. And as you can see, I'm really not being very careful. I'm just like, oh, a little bit more here, a little bit more there. I leave some white space. And I like that splotchy look. And you can also let it dry and then come back and add more color um, depending on how intense. And so I just wanted all my pieces to be ready to go and I've got them all watercolored and they're all thoroughly dry now. And I'm gonna be working with this Stickles Dry Glitter. And this is the diamond and it is super, super sparkly. I absolutely love this glitter. And all I can think of is I must get more colors. <laughs> I must. And then, now I'm going to use my uh, two-way glue pen. This is the chisel nib glue pen. I love this pen for adding uh, glitter in wider areas. And because the watercolors can smear, I'm going to be a little bit careful and not do too much back and forth. Sometimes I kind of daub it on there and take care that I'm not actually destroying all the watercolor work I did by spreading that glue around. And it goes on blue, but it dries clear. And I love the way this this glitter is translucent or transparent over the top of what I've done, but it is so sparkling and it reflects the light, just gorgeous. So here I'm gonna daub some more of that two-way glue, just in different areas. I didn't wanna coat the whole thing with glitter, I just kinda wanted to get different spots um, co coated with glitter and just create a really different effect. And I just really liked it, so it was, it was a little bit different than what I'm used to doing normally. And then I thought it would be really fun to take these little teeny tiny wooden clips. I love these little clothespins um, by Canvas Core. 
and I'm just going to coat them with glitter too. And the easiest way that I thought of to do that was to just um, take some of the uh, Be Creative tape and I've got the 1 8 inch width here and I'm just going to lay a strip of that onto the clip and burnish it down there with my fingernail so I've got it on there nice and um, smooth on there. And then I'll go ahead and clip the length off that I need with my scissors. And I actually ended up coating both sides um, with the tape and then I'm gonna go ahead and dump that glitter right over the top and this is the silver stickles glitter which is just oh my gosh it is so rich looking I just absolutely love it and I'm gonna tap and pat that glue right into the tape and it gives really good coverage I was pleasantly surprised by that and loved it and now I'm gonna create my Polaroid my faux Polaroid frame effect by using the nested square dies by Lifestyle Crafts and I used a piece of washi tape to keep it in place so it didn't shift as it went through the machine. And now I want to go ahead and stamp a greeting. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Archival. This is a nice black ink. It's waterproof, so if it gets wet, it's not gonna bleed or smear all over the place. And I'm gonna use this really sweet sentiment. I just love you. This is from a set by Allie Edwards for Technique Tuesday. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that on the lower portion there of my Polaroid frame. And then once I have that in place on there, I'm ready to create that uh, effect where I'm hanging this heart inside the frame. And I'm using my power punch just to punch some tiny holes on each side of the frame. And I marked it with a pencil so that I would know exactly where I wanted it to um, be punched and where it would be hanging. So, And I can see when I open up the thing that catches the little pieces that you punch out, I can see right through there and line up the the hole punch over the pencil mark there. And then I'm just gonna take this silver metallic cord. This is one of my favorite cords, it's by May Arts. And I use tons of this stuff. So I like to get it in the big, huge spool because I use it year round for all kinds of things, not just at the holidays, I use it all year round. It's great for wedding cards, special occasion cards. Um, just It just has that really nice finished look and I just love it. And silver and gold are just so uh, versatile. So I use them all the time. And then I'm going to actually secure it inside my frame with some mini brads. And I wanted to make sure that it hung down. It wasn't completely tight across. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit before I go ahead and put those flanges um, down on the brad. So I'm just going to push those tightly and it'll hold my cord right there. I don't even need to tie it because those brads are going to hold it right in place and snug against the paper. So I'll just trim off the ends. And then I'm ready to 3D mount that to my card front. And I wanted to have it 3D mounted because the clip and the heart, when they're hanging, they're going to be a little bit bulky. So I wanted my frame to have some depth to it. So I'm going to use the 1 8 inch uh, foam dots, the 3D dots, to go ahead and elevate that frame and have it 3D mounted to the front of my card. So they're a little bit thicker than what I normally use. And I think it accommodates the, the dimension of the heart and the little clothespin much better. So once I have that in place, and you can see you know, the thickness there, it's a nice size thickness. And I'm gonna take that little clothespin that I did, it's so cute, and I'm gonna suspend my heart, and you can kind of play around with your placement there. I kind of put it there, and then I, I went ahead and propped the card upright so I could kind of mess around with how I wanted to suspend the heart. So you can kind of play around with that until you get it in the position that, that you like. And so once I was done with that, it, that was pretty much it. The card was finished. And so I took a soft brush and brushed away all the excess glitter. But isn't that stunning? It is so gorgeous in real life. So have fun with watercoloring and Stickles dry glitter. Yummy stuff. Thanks for watching.